Hey guys! So this video is going to be um, highlighting the art materials that I use most often. And I decided to do that by drawing them and while I'm drawing my art supplies, using the art supplies that I am drawing, I will talk about them. So the first one is my Copic markers. I use these quite a bit. They're, they're really nice. They're very smooth. These are the top brand of art markers currently out right now. Many professionals use them, professional manga artists and whatnot. Um, and a lot of artists, just, you know, beginners, professionals, just hobby, people who do art as a hobby, they've started using them because they're so nice to work with. And, um, yeah, they're definitely my favorite art marker. They are very expensive. I, for example, I get them at Michael's for about $8 a marker. You can also get them at Blick Art Materials. You can find them online. And um, those are cheaper. So I would suggest doing that. And you can probably get them on other online websites as well. But the reason I like them is because they blend well. And they're very smooth. And the, um, they have a nice design just in general. And yeah, there, there are so many colors also. So a lot of people ask me why I use them and that's that's pretty much my answer to all those questions and I have done my research and looked at other markers, looked at videos done by people reviewing markers and so far Copics are definitely the best though they may be the most expensive. Um, that is what I have chosen to use. Next we're moving on to my Artist Loft watercolor palette and these colors I got for my birthday I believe. Um, and I mean they're nice, I like using watercolors, they're super fun to play around with and do little drippies and you know all that stuff. <laughs> so as far as these watercolors go, they're pretty nice, I haven't really compared them that much to other watercolor pan sets, um, cause I just kind of gotten into watercolors these past, this past two years. And um, I know there are a lot of other professional brands that are probably better. But since I don't really have anything to compare them with, I can't say that much. I will, I do say I wish they were more pigmented. For example, number seven there. That's actually a dark color. It's darker than all the other greens, 8, 11, 10, 9. But it looks light. It looks lighter than number 11, although it's supposed to be darker. Um, so yes, I wish they were more pigmented. That's the big problem I have with them. But they're nice for beginners, and they're fun to play around with, and I will probably try to get more, a, more of a professional brand of watercolors later, but I'm satisfied with what I have now, and I'll just keep a lookout for those other ones. So there's the full name, and you can find those at Michael's, and I'm sure at many, many other art stores. That's just where I got mine. And they're also pretty cheap, so no worries about cost. Next art supply that I have actually probably used the most out of all of these um, art supplies that I'm drawing on here are Prismacolor pencils, specifically the Premier pencils. I actually, they, they have very thin pencils, which are what they sound like, very thin. Therefore, details and stuff like that, but I've just found that I really like the Prismacolor Premier pencils much better. So why do I like these? They're very... They're very buttery, like they go on the paper very smoothly and they're so easy to blend with each other and um, I mean I just can't get over the color. The colors for these pencils are always so rich and beautiful and they are my favorite pencils over, like definitely, they're definitely my favorite pencils. And um, I get these at Michael's as well, that's basically my main art store. Um, and here I'm just doing it up, up close because you couldn't see the, the colors very well in the video, like the time-lapse video. But yeah, I get them at Michael's. They're a little over a dollar and 30 cents for each pencil. And you can also get them in sets. There is a cheap set, 24-piece, um, I believe, at Walmart. And it's a lot cheaper, cheaper, cheaper cheaper than it is at Michael's. Okay, so here is another art supply that I use a lot. 
my Copic Multiliner. Okay, so when I first got these, I really liked them. They were just really nice pens, and I like Copic, so, you know, I had high expectations for them. But I don't know if it's the way I've been treating them, which I don't think I've been treating them badly, but um, they started kind of running out of ink, and the tips have started getting messed up, and I don't know if that's my fault. Maybe it is. I, I don't know. It, or and they seemed like they were running out of ink, but it was it seemed like it was kind of too soon for that. So I was you know shaking them a little bit like you do with a lot of pins, and apparently doing that caused it to start leaking out of the bottom. So I'm constantly as I use them having to wipe off the end of the pen because ink just is pouring out of there, and I don't think that should happen. I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna try a different brand next time I get pens to see if that makes a difference. So. Let you know what happens there. So this next art supply I'm working on is my Jelly Roll pen, and these are just so beautiful. I always just get the white one because that's what I need. Um, I use it for highlights and eyes, highlights just in general, highlights, um, I mean, um, like erasing my mistakes. If I go outside the lines, just get yourself a white gel pen, and I recommend Jelly Roll because they're amazing. They last a long time, and they go on the paper really smoothly so yes and this is the end of the video these are the art supplies that I use the most often watercolor, Copic marker, Prismacolor pencil, Copic multiliner and a white jelly roll pen and um, yeah I like them all use them all to create beautiful pictures at least I, I hope they're beautiful I think they're beautiful I hope that's what you think I need to stop talking, don't I? Uh, yeah, okay. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below and uh, give, me a, give me a big like, like the biggest thumbs up that you've ever given a video before. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. And then his tie is basically black except for the little stripes that it has on it. There's also